Simple in Out is a great digital in out board, and it's only useful when you have your users all in the in out board itself. So we have a lot of different options for how to add users, but one of the easier ways to add users is to be able to generate an invite. That is a URL that you can hand to your users and let them sign up and join your in out board themselves. So today we're going to talk about how to invite your users to join your in out board. So here we're on the in out board. In this case, I'm logged in as Arlington Financial, our test company. And so I'm going to click add users because we want to add a bunch of new users. Let's just say we've done a merger and we have a lot of new users to add. So once you click on add users, you're brought to the add user screen where you're given um, choices for how to add one user at a time. But another option we have along the list here is to invite users. And if I click on inviting users, we'll be brought to the screen here where we can read a little bit about invites and then add a new invite link. So let's go ahead and click on add invite to add a new link. Here we'll be presented with a few options that we'll have to choose. First option is, how long should this link be good? We automatically expire invite links just in case they leak out because you don't want to have a bunch of random strangers hopping into your board if somebody sends out the link. So we choose to always expire links, but you can choose how long it lasts. It can either last for one hour, one day, or one week. So that's entirely up to you. In this case, I have a lot of users, so I'm going to give them a I'm going to give them a whole day to make sure they get invited to the in-out board and get themselves signed up. The next choice I have to make is the role that the user's in. And roles are the permissions that the user will have. How many permissions we give them uh, and what they could do on their in-out board is entirely dictated by which role they're in. And so here we have a few choices for roles. Uh, you'll notice that the administrator role is not in this list. You cannot invite administrative level users just because if that link were to leak out, and a bad person signed up, they get invited, they get on your in-out board, and then as an administrator, they could do things like delete the whole company. So we don't let you invite administrators, but you can invite any of the other roles that you have set up. And we do cover roles in another video that is, uh, that is out there. But uh, for now, I'll just say that if you don't remember what a user can do in these roles, we do have this handy little button here you can click and that will show you exactly what the users in the selected role can do. You can change this at any time and you'll notice that the list changes uh, to just give you a good reminder of what these, uh, what these users will be able to do once they've accepted your invite. So we're gonna stay with the limited role and I'm just gonna click this again to fold this up. And then the final choice we have is group. Now we could just let users not belong to a group or if we want, we could select a group and when the users are invited, they'll automatically be added to this particular group. In my case, I am gonna put everybody in the mortgage consultants group because that's who I'm inviting today. So now I'll click save. And there we have it. So now we have our brand new invite link. This uh, is for our mortgage consultants group and they will be limited users. That's the role they'll be in. This is the exact time that the link will expire. Uh, so this is all super. And now we have our little invite link over here. Now, if I were to click on this link, you'll notice I get this message. So this is what the invite page will look like. However, I'm logged in, right? I'm logged in to Simple and Out. So of course this invite page says, you already signed in. You know, uh, please update any bookmarks to Simple and Out and just go there. So of course, being I'm logged in, this doesn't look the way it should. So I'm just gonna click back over here and I'm gonna log out. Super. Now I'm gonna come back here and reload this invite link. And now we can see exactly what it'll look like to another user um, who gets this link from you. So you emailed your users this new invite link or maybe you put it on Slack or you put it in a company wiki and now the user's ready to go. They click on this link and then they're given this information right here. So go ahead and join Arlington Financial. So I'm a random user. So let's just go ahead and fill out uh, my information. I'll just say I'm Bojack and I'll pick my email. Financial.com. And um, details is just anything I want it to be. Uh, you know, a lot of people use this for titles or something like that. So I'll just say I'm a consultant, uh, but you can use it for anything. And then I'll have to choose a password. Um, I can also add a phone number here. So I guess let's do that. Let's be a good guy and add a phone number. Okay, so now I'm gonna say create user. Uh, this is just my password manager. I'll put that away. Uh, but here we go. So now I'm Bojack Horseman. And you'll notice that I'm logged in already. And because I'm Bojack and I'm in a limited role, I have less permissions than we saw before. So for example, Bojack isn't allowed to update his own status. So all that stuff has gone away. 
Um, and so obviously I'm also not allowed to edit geofences, so I don't have a, a thing up here. So there's a bunch of stuff that's changed, but that's how you can easily invite users to simple in out. It's a great way to get a lot of